It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl today. Two outstanding middle schools playing our game. Let's meet them right now. From Martin Luther King Jr. Academy, please say hello to the first of our contestants, Zach Reed, Liam Greaves, and Zachary Landau. And from Thomas Poulin Middle School, we say hello to Jacoby Wiggins, Pearl, Nissen, and Luis Orta. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the questions, with the easier ones worth 5 and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out with 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. And at the end of the two rounds, one of these two good Two good-looking teams will come back to play our game again and perhaps advance to this year's middle school semifinals and finals. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to the red team. Liam, would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you. Good luck to you, to Zachary and to Zach. And Pearl, would you try yours? It too seems to be in good shape. Good luck to you, to Jacoby and Louise. She wants to make sure that thing works. We appreciate that. All right. Congratulations on being chosen to represent your schools. You're all great ambassadors. Let's have a good game here today. We go alphabetically M before T. So Liam, let's play the bowl. Body systems for 15, please. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, the knee is the most often replaced joint in the body. The second most often replaced is this body part, Martin Luther King. Hip. The hip. I was going to tell you the bone that swivels. Absolutely right. Good. You drew first blood. Go again, red. Let's get physical for 15, please. Get physical for 15 points. Teams in space, no one can hear you scream because sound does not travel. It, Martin Luther King. It's a space is a vacuum. That's exactly right. Sound does not travel in a vacuum. That was the advertisement for the first Aliens movie. You're too young to remember that. Go red. Zoo Parade for 15, please. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, what same process could be said to describe how Captain America went from a 98-pound weakling into a superhero and also described how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly? Martin Luther King? Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, absolutely right. And Captain America, he was even in a kind of chrysalis that he popped out of. All right, go, red. Science potpourri for 15, please. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, this modern day stun gun was named by its inventor because he liked, yes, Martin Luther King. The taser? The taser, yes. The Thomas A. Smith Electric Rifles was the name of the book that he liked, and he took the first initials of each of the words in that book title. All right. Thomas Pony, you got to jump on that buzzer a little faster. These guys are quick. Go, Liam. Green things for 15, please. Green things for 15 points. Teams, Methuselah is the oldest living thing on Earth. It is what kind of P-initialed coniferous tree? Martin Luther King. Pine? It is a pine tree, yes, a bristlecone pine. Pines are conifers, just as most other evergreen trees are. Go red. Dateline science for 15, please. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, the famed author Jane Austen, who wrote books like Pride and Prejudice and other classics, is now thought to have been poisoned by what chemical with the chemical symbol A.S.? Martin Luther King. I'll pass this one to Zach. Zach? Acetone? Not acetone, no good try. Jane Austen supposedly poisoned by the chemical element with the symbol A.S. Can you tell us what chemical that is, Thomas? Thomas Pullen. Uh, 
Any idea? Arsenic. Arsenic. Don't think she was murdered because arsenic was a very common chemical back then, but arsenic poisoning is something that criminals have done for many, many years. All right, King again. Let's get physical for 10, please. Get physical for 10 points. Teams, natural gas has no odor. But we know that there's a natural gas leak because the company puts mercaptan in it, which smells... Martin Luther King. Sulfur. Smells like Um, I'll pass this one to Zach. Sulfur, which smells like raw eggs. Absolutely right. They put that sulfur in there, and you know for sure that there's something wrong. Good answer. Go, Red. Body systems for 10, please. Body systems for 10 points. Teams... Even though this body part has no taste receptors, if you really like candy, you're said to have a s Martin Luther King. Sweet tooth. A sweet tooth. Absolutely right. Even though the dentin, that enamel has no receptor, you still like the chocolate. Good. Red. Zoo parade for 20, please. Zoo parade for 20 points. Seems look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. And you're going to see a dodo bird, extinct since 1681. But today, one of its relatives is still alive. What relative is an urban bird that has a homing instinct? Martin Luther King? The pigeon? Pigeon, yeah. A dodo is a big, grown-up, not-too-bright pigeon. All right, go, red. Green things for 10, please. Green things for 10 points. Teams, what same word describes the military rank of the owner of a big chicken franchise and the seed of a corn plant. Thomas Pullen. Colonel. A colonel, that's right. Colonel Sanders and Jacoby said, I know that one. All right, way to go, Green. Go. Pearl. Um, zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, a group of crows is known as a murder. A group of geese is known as a gaggle. And a group of these wise birds is known as a parliament. Martin Luther King. The owl? The owl, yes, the owl, a parliament of owls. It kind of fits. Sounds Shakespearean to me. Go, Red. Science potpourri for 10, please. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, this television show, which is a crime drama, if you didn't know any better, you would think it was a documentary on the skeletal system. Martin Luther King? Uh, bones. Bones, that's absolutely right. Good. Go, Red. Zoo parade for 10, please. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams, Lunesta, the sleep aid, is represented appropriately by this night flying... Butterfly. Moth. 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 Thomas, Moth. Moth it is, yes. The Luna Moth. Good. That green moth, the biggest moth in the world. And with that, the buzzer says our first round is over. Thomas Pullen has 70. Martin Luther King, 180. We have got lots to go. Don't you go away. We'll be right back. You can never know which pool safety step will save a life. Until it does. No matter how safe you feel, adding multiple safety steps can mean the difference between a close call and a call to 911. Simple steps save lives. To learn some new ones, visit poolsafely.gov. Hi, I'm Jordan Sparks, and my I Matter You campaign is all about making a difference, and SOS Children's Villages does just that. I cannot believe how many children SOS has helped around the world by building villages, helping abandoned children, and giving them a mother and house to grow up in. I'm calling on everyone that I know to support SOS in their efforts to help kids at risk of abandonment in countries like Sudan, Vietnam, and Haiti. SOS helps these children over the long term, and you can make a real difference in a child's life. MAD, making a difference. That's what it's all about, and SOS is one of the best. You've got to check them out on SOSUSA.org. SOS Children's Villages gives homes and hope to children in need all around the world. Join SOS and Jordan Sparks in making a difference. Visit SOSUSA.org to learn more.
And welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. We've got two great middle schools here today. We're trying to get the last of our four semifinalists in the middle school competition. We have Samuel Ogle, Stephen Decatur, Hyattsville, and it could be that one of these two schools will be our fourth in those finals. Martin Luther King, nice to have you guys here. You have won the county championship twice in the past 26 years. I know you'd like to repeat that. And Liam and Zach, you have both been here. I've watched you grow up through middle school now, through elementary and middle. Uh, tell us about, first of all, Martin Luther King, Liam. Uh, who's your principal? Our principal is Miss Robin Wilteson. Yes, and she has been at your school for many years and an award-winning principal. She is uh, she's a real treasure here in Prince George's County. And who's the sponsor of your team? Our sponsor is Miss Eliz Elizabeth Reyes. Yes, and she has been bringing great teams here for many, many years and just is a great sponsor out there. And tell me, are there any alternates on your team? Yes, we have three alternates, Antares Greaves, Kyle Tulio, and Aaron McGlown. Wonderful. And they'll be out in just a few moments, so we can meet them and Miss Reyes. And tell us about King. It's a school of so many wonderful things. What do you like to brag about? It's a school of excellence. The teachers, they're always there to push you to our best. They believe that we, we can be the best and that we will be the best. And so they treat us as like that. Absolutely. And you are living proof that that is a good philosophy because you guys are indeed the best. And Liam, someday you want to be a bioengineer, is that right? Yes. And in your spare time, I know you're a soccer player. And Zach, you're a soccer player as well. Um, what elementary school were you with before? Vaughn Mill. Vaughn Mill, absolutely. And I remember you telling me about your love of soccer back then. What do you want to do someday, Zach? Um, I don't know, just something to do with science. Something to do with science. You'll be successful whatever you want to do. Uh, you're a very disciplined, serious young man, and boy, you brought us a lot of great games here. Keep up your good work. And Zachary, nice to have you here for the very first time. Uh, what got you onto the team? Well, I've watched Science Bowl ever since I was a little kid, and I've watched Liam and Zach um, go on, it, and then I decided this year I really wanted to try it. So. Well, you're a real asset to the team. I'm glad you're here and uh, hopefully enjoy the rest of the game. What do you want to do someday? Um, I would like to go in the field maybe as a government worker or a um, chemist. Or a chemist. That's great. A uh, couple different choices there for you, different ends of the spectrum. Thomas Pullen, nice to have you here. Uh, Pearl and Luis and Jacoby, uh, first timers all on our program, all eighth graders. Uh, Thomas Pullen is a performing arts school. Is that right, Pearl? Yes. And you are a perfect advertisement for, for the school because you are a dancer of some renown. Yeah. yeah. I d I've done competitive dancing for 10 years now. For 10 years. And she was telling me earlier about the trophy. She doesn't have quite enough to fill a room, but I'm sure that's going to happen sometime. Tell me about uh, your school, first of all. Who's your principal? Our principal is Ms. Lucas Adams. Wonderful. And the sponsor of your team is Mr. Roy Manning. Yes. And he's just a wonderful science teacher. Uh, I wish I had had him when I was in school. He was just so great and is great. Do you have any alternates on your team? We do. We have Justin Wright Long. Right. And I met Justin earlier, and he'll be out in just a few moments. We'll meet him with Mr. Manning. Uh, tell me about uh, Thomas Pullen. I was asking Liam what he really brags about. What do you tell people about Thomas Pullen? Well, like we, you said earlier, we're a performing arts school, and we do. Well, we have we have a lot of like performances and stuff, and it's a very creative school. And it's not just dancers; it's musicians, it's writers. So there's chorus, media, drama dance like I am, then there's, there's a bunch of different kinds of instruments, and so it's a lot of different majors. A lot of creative kids running around over there. Must be a great environment to learn. Yeah. Um, so as a dancer, where do you see yourself performing someday? I really have no idea. I, honestly, I just know I want to dance. You just want to dance. I think that's great. Movies, the stage, whatever. You just want to do what you love. Right. I love to hear that. Luis, nice to have you here. Young man who enjoys media and communications and video editing. Yeah and interested in engineering, right? Yeah, civic engineering. Yeah. Tell us about your, your fascination with Legos. Well, yeah, it all, it all really started, like, I was, as a child, like, my uncle, he had these Lego toys, right? So, uh, so when I went to his house, we used to always build with them, and so then later on, it got into advancement when actually designing 3D graphics on the computer, yeah. and now I figured that, you know, to take that on, a civil engineering would be good, like designing bridges and parks and everything like that. Yeah, some of the bridges that uh, designers come up with today, they are works of art. They're yes. not just utilitarian anymore, so I can see you doing that. What a great field. 
you've hitched your wagon to over there. And Jacoby, young man, he's been calling me sir the whole time because he aspires to go into the U.S. Marine Corps someday, yeah? Yes, sir. What pr uh, prompted that? Uh, this is just a lot of good people I know that are in the military. Yeah, and we have to keep our country safe, and uh, uh, we would be in good hands if you were in there, I can just tell. Disciplined young man, what do you do in your spare time? Uh, I play violin and I play basketball. Very good, all right. And you wanted to be on this show because they asked you, right? Yes, sir. Someone recognized some talent, and you've come up with a couple answers so far. You keep it up in the second half. Let's get back to it. Martin Luther King, 180, pool in 70, lots of points to give away. We go to the green team. Pearl, start us out. You gave us the last correct answer. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, plants can't get up and run if there's danger, but plants like thistles and blackberries and roses turn it into a slasher movie because they sprout these things. <laughs> Thomas Pullen? Thorns. Thorns, yes, thorns out there. Don't get close. Go green. Body systems. Yes, Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, people on their iPhone like to have a lot of apps. But on their torso, they like to have a lot of these similar sounding. Abs. 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 That's right. Good. Go. Green. Go. Oh. Um, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, meteor shower sounds very meteorological. But more romantically, you could describe them as shooting what? Thomas Pullen? Stars. stars. Shooting stars, that's right. They are synonymous. Go green. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, interestingly, this very famous spring-like toy is not coiled wire, but rather a sliced-up pipe. Thomas Pullen? Slinky. The Slinky, that's right. Like that Slinky dog in Toy Story. Go green. Dateline science for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, can you believe it? The U.S. Congress wants to consider pizza and spaghetti sauce one of these because it has tomato sauce in it. Martin Luther King. Vegetables. That's right. They want to make pizza a vegetable. That's stretching it, I think, just a little. Go red. Green things for 20, please. Green things for 20 points. Teams, if you have a chestnut tree in your backyard, a single chestnut tree, you're not going to get any chestnuts because chestnuts do not like to self what? Martin Luther King. I'll pass this to Zach. Zach. Reproduce. Give me another word, please. Pollinate. Pollinate, right. They do not like to self-pollinate. They like to cross-pollinate, so you need two trees. Thanks for helping your buddy out there. Go red. Body systems for 20, please. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, listen very carefully, very carefully. This punctuation mark is like just half of the large intestine. Martin Luther King? Semicolon. Semicolon is right, yes. Half of the large intestine is semicolon. We couldn't fool you. Judges, I'm impressed. Go red. Let's get physical for 20, please. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, the moon Europa has a solid surface and may have lakes on it. Interestingly, it orbits a planet that is the first of the... Mm, Martin Luther King. Gas giants, Jupiter. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. I was going to say the first of the gas giants in the solar system, starting with the sun. Jupiter is the correct answer. Go red. Dateline science for 20, please. Dateline for 20 points, teams. The country of Iran claims that it is processing this radioactive chemical element not to make a bomb, but for power purposes. Thomas Pullen. Uranium. Uranium it is. That's right, Jacoby. Good. Go. Green. Um, what do you want to do? Dateline, for Dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, please, for this question, if you would, teams. This is Anton von Leeuwenhoek. And back in the 1600s, he is holding in his hand the first ever of these instruments that he invented. Martin Luther King. Microscope. Microscope, yes. Uh, we were looking at earlier, it almost looks like he has an iPad there, but it's the first microscope. Go red. Green things for 25, please. Green things for 25. The big one in that category, teams, is as follows. Two-part answer. Tell me what it is when a tree has to refoliate and give me a reason why it might have to do that. Why does a tree have to refoliate and give me a reason for that for 25 points? Thomas Pullen has rung in and is consulting. Who's going to answer? You want to answer? Uh, yes. He's going to answer. All right, so when a tree refoliates, it grows back its leaves. Yes, and give me a reason why. Uh, because it may be a deciduous tree and it sheds its leaves in the fall. Judges, yes, we're going to give you credit for that. Absolutely right, for 25 points. Also, insects could have eaten the leaves or a hurricane might have blown them off. All a reason for them to relief. Go green. 20. 
science potpourri for 20? Potpourri for 20 points seems a multiple choice question. Some scientists now think that the speed of light is not the ultimate speed. In hmm, Martin Luther King. Neutrinos? Neutrinos, absolutely right. I was going to say neutrinos, nebulas, or quasars. Neutrinos seem to be faster than the speed of light. Thank you, Zach, for that. Go red. Zoo Parade for 25, please. Zoo Parade for 25. Big one in that category. Team's multiple choice question. Veterinarians at the National Zoo sometimes perform a necropsy in order to find out to remove a foreign object from inside an animal. To oh, an animal died. All right, Martin Luther King. Um, Zach? Zach? Um, any um, reason that an animal may have died for suspicious... Absolutely suspicious. right. They're trying to determine the cause of death. It is a post-mortem. It is the animal version of the autopsy. Nicely done. Go red. Let's get physical for 25, please. Get physical for 25. Big one in that category, teams. If you were a very big fan of Albert Einstein, you might tattoo on your arm what famous formula... Thomas Pullen? E equals MC squared. That's right. I would not advise that. I mean, you want to... You might want to take it off later. Go, green. Body assistance, please, for 25. Body assistance for 25. Teams, if you have a heart murmur, the sounds you're hearing are these trap doors not closing properly. Ventricles. Martin Luther King. Ventricles? Not ventricles, good try. What are the trap doors between the chambers of the heart that are not closing properly that produce the sounds that are heard in a heart murmur? What do you think, guys? Correct answer is valves. Valves. Try again, green. Pearl. Um, size potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, if you're lactose intolerant, you can't drink milk. If you cannot eat wheat, it's because you're intolerant of what G initial kind of protein? Martin Luther King. Gluten? Gluten, yes. So many products they are listed as gluten-free. We have one question left, 25-point question under Dateline. It is as follows. We all know that Benjamin Franklin invented the lightning rod and the Franklin stove, but his friend, this third president of the United States, also Martin Luther King. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson invented the dumb waiter, so he too was a scientist. That's the end of our game. It looks like Martin Luther King has done it. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't you go away. My wife's drinking really made things difficult for me. I'd come home from work to find the house was a mess and the kids hadn't done their homework. No matter how hard I tried, things just wouldn't get better. I didn't think it was fair that I had to work so hard just to keep everything normal. I knew if she could just quit drinking, things would be okay. In the meantime, I avoided family and friends because I didn't want to deal with the questions they would ask. My EAP counselor at work sent me to Al-Anon family groups. I didn't think I needed to go to any meetings at this point, but it turned out to be great advice. Listening to Al-Anon members talk about their lives helped me see a, a different way of looking at things. I never imagined I would be as calm as I am now. Are you troubled by someone's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Al-Anon family group meeting from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-ALANON or visit alanonfamilygroups.org. Because play might be the best way to fight obesity. Because staying connected makes my family stronger, healthier, and happier. Because a safe place after school can lead to success in school. Because physical activity is vital to my health and well-being. Because
because I need to make my world better. Because playing team sports teaches the character and social skills that build leaders. Because learning with others makes for a greater understanding. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed this game at home as much as we did here in the studio. Six outstanding young people. We're proud of all of you for the game you played today. Our final tally today is Thomas Pullen 160, Martin Luther King 350. Congratulations to Zach and Liam and Zachary. And they've got a shadow team back there. And Therese, who is Liam's sister. Also Kyle standing back there behind him. And Aaron and Miss Butler, congratulations. We're going to see you in the next round. Let's see some smiles over here. You guys played for your very first time. You really did a super job. Luis and Pearl and Jacoby and Justin, I know you're very proud of this team. And Mr. Manning, we're very proud of you, too, for all the work you've done. And thank you for being with us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye.